Hello, welcome to my channel. If you clicked on my video for the very first time, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. My name is Billy Joe, and this channel is Spiritual Guidance and Tarot with Billy Joe. So um, I have had a lot of comments. I've had some emails sent to me about the singing bowl and people wanting me to start using the singing bowl. So you may see this quite a bit. Um, I'm just going to probably just record this little loop here and add it to the front of all the readings so that way it can assist you. <clears throat> Excuse me. So before we get started with our pick a card, and of course most of you who are regular viewers of my videos know that most of my videos have to do with um, feelings and love and relationships. So before we get out the cards and your the, the different piles for this particular reading, let's go ahead and clear our energy. So different ways that we can do that is you can burn sage, burn palo santo, a singing bowl, or even a bell. So we're going to do that now. You can also use frequency tones or venereal beats. I have some playing in the background. <clears throat> of course, I always choose those that are uncopyrighted. The particular one that's playing right now is, um, uh, I'll put a link down below for it. Awaken Healing Energy, Deepest Healing Music. It's 528 Hertz, Miracle Healing Frequency. So if you wanted to look things up, the 528 uh, hertz up and find different frequencies that resonate with you more then that is a lovely thing to do so i'm just going to clear the energy i'm going to burn my big fatty here and it's good to sometimes cleanse your bowl as well and cleanse your tools keep them nice and cleansed you can do this also with full moon energy we did we did have just had the full moon in aries so i don't know anything <laughs> any of y'all but any other divine feminines out there but i know that i felt the the full moon energy impacted me very heavily and um many of you may have noticed i didn't <laughs> i didn't do any lives this weekend and it's because i was having to process my own emotions that were coming up and it was it was really hard so i'm sure a lot of you um watching that resonate with my channel probably went through the same thing um because aries is a force to be reckoned with and it does bring up those the deep-seated very painful things for you to face and deal with so that you can transform so we're burning sage we're releasing any negative attachments, any negative energies. We're, really, we're cleansing our aura, our energy field. You can use a bell. Bells are very good. They're used in different, all different kinds of cultures, religions, and spiritual practices. This is one I just found. Um, I had a hard time finding a bell that, that resonated with my energy, that helped me feel it. Um, so different, different bells have different tones. This one helps me feel like I'm being cleansed and that my cards and my tools are being cleansed. So just allow it to resonate through you. And then we have the bowl, which is my favorite. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to pop it a few times and each time I do allow the vibration to resonate allow allow yourself to feel it and allow it to sink into you so that way it can vibrate kind of like you know an earthquake knocks things loose allow the vibrations to knock anything that's attached to you loose so that way it can be healed and processed okay so on my countdown, three, two, one.
And then the last one, I'm just going to resonate with the with the wand here. Okay, that feels so much better. I can't even tell you. Um, so um, my singing bowl, I've had people email me, ask me. I got mine. Um, you can get yours. You can get them off of Amazon or anything. I got mine from a store in the mall in Little Rock um, called, um, oh, what is that? I, well, you know what? It left me, so I guess it's not important. But you can find them um, all over the place. Um, some imports. It's not Pure One Imports. It's some other... I don't even remember. But anyways. Okay. So, I'm fixing to pause the video and get started and move over to the the piles. I'm going to move over to the table. And um, so, what I'm asking you to do is to close your eyes and take several deep breaths take a breath in in that way you can cleanse and release any negativity and keep your eyes closed until i tell you to open your eyes and when i tell you to open your eyes I, that's the the first pile you're drawn to is your pile and Remember that when you close your eyes and you take your deep breaths, think about your breath work and release any thoughts, any fears, anything you have attached. And once you release that out your breath, when you take in your next breath, think of your person. Okay? And continue to do that until I tell you to open your eyes. Okay, hello, welcome so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for clicking on the video today. Um, I love joining you each and every day. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Billy Joe. If you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. So today's pick a card reading was a subscriber request. This is, does your ex think about you? What do they think about you? And do they want you back? So I have three piles for you today. Pile one is with Tarot de la Nut and the um, Buddhist Jas, uh, not Jasper, I'm sorry, Jade. <laughs> and then pile two is with the um, Arcanum Tarot and the Fluorite. And pile three is with the Everyday Witch Tarot and the Lapis Lazuli. So, of course, as you always know, if you need more time, you can always pause the video. Um, if you need any information about me, if you need the timestamps, all of that's in the description box. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me right now, my turnaround time is 24 to 48 hours. Information to that is down in the description box as well. Thank you so much. I'm going to meet you at your pile. Okay, hello, pile number one. If you chose the Tarot de la Nut with the Buddhist Jade, this is your reading. Do, we're looking and seeing, does your ex, what do they think about you and do they still want you back? So does your ex, what do they think about you and do they want you back? So let's see what they think about you. What goes on in their head when they think about you? Bottom of the deck. Bottom deck is the Five of Wands. 
So quite possibly you and your ex, y'all come from two different worlds. Um, maybe two different cultures, two different races, two different types of societies, you know. Um, maybe you were raised differently. Um, but it's, maybe you live at a distance also as well. But there's a lot of differences between you and your person. Um, there's been a lot of disagreements and not being able to see eye to eye ace of swords communication so that's difficulty in communicating so y'all have y'all had issues with communication in y'all's connection we have the king of cups the queen of pentacles the three of pentacles and the lovers Okay, so your person, when they think about you, they think that, um, <clears throat> they think that you are very loving, very compassionate, um, but you're, you know, the King of Cups also knows when to guard themselves, you know, they don't wear their, their heart on their sleeves, so... Maybe you don't fall in love easily. They don't see you. You know, we have to see, you know, this is what they're thinking. But they're thinking that... And I'm getting this person thinks that they're in love with you. They do love you. We do have the lovers here. And the king of cups. We have the three of pentacles. Which means they think that you work well together. You and this person may have actually worked together in the past. Or maybe you met at your employment or through people you knew that you worked with quite possibly you may have met them um, as you as a student going to school but there's some type of partnership here um, <clears throat> more than just the relationship this is uh, working well together maybe um, we have the Queen of Pentacles here so also you probably worked well about um, trying to build your bread, trying to build up your um, finances. I'm hearing um, building your empire together. They think they think that you are um, quite possibly since y'all been broke up quite possibly you've been working on your own empire you become very independent um and they love that about you they they also because the lovers is here sometimes that can refer to a choice quite possibly they had to make a choice between you or another person or you did maybe they chose a, a different life than what the life that you wanted. Different scenarios going on here. <clears throat> but they have very fond thoughts of you. We have she who creates Shayla. Creativity, originality, spontaneity. So, yeah, they think that you have created this whole new life for yourself. Um, <clears throat> which is something that I was seeing because the Queen of Pentacles here. Um, you may be someone who's very, um, artistic, maybe musically inclined. You may be a makeup artist for some of you. Um, just take what resonates. Um, you may play music, you may write music, or your person may. You may be a dancer. You may do tarot readings. You may create your own YouTube channel. You may be a creator in that way. Or TikTok. But they see you as very uh, creative. Very aspiring. You are, or you are aspiring to make better of yourself. I'm hearing that you have um, come up. And you have bettered yourself from where you previously was or what you previously was you're stepping into your own and blossoming Oops. 
We have the number 29, which breaks into number 11. Wolf Moon Hunger. So, they may still have this hunger for you, but they also may see you as someone who, um, who has a hunger to succeed, striving to succeed, striving to do your best. I'm hearing, um, well, when you want to be successful, you're hungry, right? So you're hungry. You want to be successful. And... They want to choose you so they could be successful too. Let's see here. We have, I will never let go. You've touched my soul in every way, shape, and form in transition. So there's some changes happening. And only you have access. So there's something major going on, shifting in this connection. The bottom of this deck says, you're constantly on my mind, seducing my memories. And this card, of course, it came out in reverse. It was watching you, watch what you say. So, um, it's in reverse. So, but what I'm hearing is, I think they said something to you that was hurtful and they regret what they said because they can't stop thinking about it. They can't stop thinking about you. So let's look and see, do they want you back? I'm going to say yes, but... They could think all these things and then, like, be too intimidated to try and get you back. But we'll kind of have a look. Do they want you back? <laughs> well, clarity of belief. I believe so. This is the Ace of Swords. So, um, that's too many. I think they want to reach out and and offer you some type of communication healing begins quite possibly they want to heal from whatever this is find balance came out they want more equal give and take in this connection and number 14 balance so yeah they want to get back together with you they have they still think of you. They kind of, with the lovers here, kind of think they believe maybe you're soulmates or twin flames. That there's, that this connection is not over with. So take that how it resonates with you. Don't forget to check out in the description box at your timestamp. There is a song there as well. It may have additional lyrics for you. Thank you so much. Remember, if you did any personal reading, just reach out. I can have it back to you within 24 to 48 hours. Thank you so much. Be blessed. Okay, hello, pile number two. You chose the Arcanum Tarot with the Fluorite. So, let's see what your ex thinks about you, and do they want you back? Don't forget to check out in the description box by the timestamp. There will be a song next to it. It may have additional messages for you in the lyrics. What does your ex think about you? Pile two. Okay, bottom of the deck. 
three of wands so and this is over the eight of cups so three of wands talks about waiting for your ship to come in so maybe they're looking out over the sea waiting for you to come back where you've walked away from them in the past or they walked away from you one of the other has walked away from this connection and left the other one waiting for their return and quite possibly um, when you left or when they left there there's a distance there some kind of distance was created um, I'm getting for the most part it's going to be a physical distance we have the ten of wands the page of wands the high priestess the queen of pentacles temperance eight of pentacles and ace of wands wow okay So, Ten of Wands lets me know that when they think about you, they think about all the burdens that you two shared. Maybe, you know, there were struggles, financial struggles, or um, just a lot of stress, anxiety. You may, um, and, and that happens with most relationships. There's always going to be some type of struggles and challenges. And they think about the challenges. The Ten of Wands is... Um, you know endings the the challenges stopped you know but i think what i'm hearing is y'all overcome many challenges together you you was able to conquer um any obstacle that came your way y'all pretty much you know for the most uh, most of your relationship you you are able to face challenges together this your ex thinks that you are very passionate um very creative very i'm hearing very good with words very very good expressing yourself very um strong sexual attraction here very strong um you or your person but i'm getting it they think that you have a very strong sex drive that that may not resonate with everybody but you are very charismatic very creative they they think that you're a very highly evolved spiritual person you may be into meditations and you may they may call you a witch you may consider yourself a witch clairvoyant or psychic you have practices that are different than theirs kind of taboo can compare to them that's for just some of you not all of you um, remember to only take parts of the message that resonate with you. Um, you are successful on your own. You, Whatever you um, go to create or whatever you start to do, you are successful at it. Whether you want to be, you know, whether your managerial skills, you're, you're successful. Um, financially, when you put your mind to it you're successful um when it comes to your career your finances um any creative endeavors you are successful in whatever you pursue and i'm hearing you can do anything you want and that they they're in awe of that you are very hard working and when you put your mind to it you're very committed you're very dedicated um you're very nurturing <clears throat> and also you and this person may have been together for a very long time um quite possibly when you when the relationship ended it, it was weird what it's weird what i'm seeing is because it's like you had finally learned you had learned to be able to coexist together comfortably but then something something happened that kind of shook up the relationship, of course. Why else did you break up, right? Um, but you started this new life. And for some of you, they want a new beginning with you. They want to actively pursue this new beginning. Um, either that or they are... Um, 
Let's look at the Ace of Wands. I think they want to have sex with you. They think of you sexually. Because I'm getting just strong sexual um, chemistry here. We have she who knows, Yelena, wisdom, clarity, resolution. Um, yeah, again, what I was saying, like with the high priestess, they may believe they they believe that you're psychic. You may already know this person. You probably feel it when they think about you. I think they look back at the memories fondly, or at least. Um, A sense of what have I done because the only really card on the board that's really negative would be the ten of wands and that was that's not even really a negative card the ace of wands I love it because it has hot lava there so you may have a fiery temper new moon for beginnings number two which is two is partnership numbers so they may want this new beginning with you. You know this. So I'm. I was gonna. I always wait to the end. Like with pile one, I wait to the end to answer. Do they want to get back together with you? I really think this person does want to get back together with you. I think they miss your spark, your fiery passion, and your fiery temper, and like you're really good at putting them in their place. What I'm hearing. And they like that. Okay, so we have come to me, calling you in. I am always watching you. I will hunt you down. I am waiting for you to remember. Look, waiting. Remember I said earlier they're probably waiting. Wow. <clears throat> bottom of the deck is it's hard for me to open up so of course they probably haven't told this to you if you have um social media that even if they're like say you have facebook but they're not on your friends list i promise you through someone else's facebook they're watching you if you have a TikTok or a youtube of your own they are watching you they're probably even one of your subscribers and you don't even know it Do they want you back? I'm going to say yes, but let's see what comes up with that. Do they want you back? Do they want you back? So let's see what all we got here. We have lead, reverse, sadness and isolation, rest and reconsider and reverse, manifest and observe and reverse. Uh, huh. I'm, not, I'm still going to go with yes. I think they want you back. However, they're not actively doing that. They're not like they're not going to put the work into doing that. There's something that holds them back, and this this kind of makes them they feel like they can't um, due to whatever circumstances they're in. They can't take that lead. They can't do that action or make any plans. Um, rest and reconsiders in reverse. So I think this makes them restless. Makes them a little agitated. Of course, they're sad. Um, they want to manifest this. They're hoping something happens. But in the meantime, like, they're not even going to hope for it. Like, they're just not even going to hope for it. They, yes, they want you back. They miss you. It's like, what I'm seeing is my head is two people that now live at a physical distance from each other. It's like they're constantly watching and waiting to the next time they can run into you for some reason. Um, maybe you have children together or you have um, um, acquaintances, friends, same, share some of the same friends. 
you know, and they just wait to hear something about you, you know, nonchalantly, right? They don't, it's like they don't want anyone to know. Your person may actually, because I'm getting this strong feeling that they may actually be in another marriage or another relationship and quite possibly they can't let it be known that they're like really wishing that you would somehow run back into them. But do they want you back? Yes. Um, I, I, I'm hearing they kind of effed up when it came to you. Quite possibly you're the one that got away. And quite possibly you're the best thing that ever happened to them. So thank you so much. Don't forget to check out the description box by your timestamp. There will be a song there for additional lyrics may have messages in them. And if you want your own personal reading, um, because do remember these are general readings. So if you want your own personal reading, reach out to me. All the information is in the description box. I can get your reading back to you within 24 to 48 hours. Thank you so much. Many blessings. Namaste. Hello, pile number three. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you chose the Everyday Witch Tarot with the Lapis Lazuli, then this is your reading. So, we're going to look and see what does your ex think about you and do they want you back? Does your ex, what does your ex think about you? Bottom of the deck. Twenty. Judgment. Okay. And this is over the chariot. Oh, wow. So... Okay. So... <laughs> Right off the bat, this looks like, yeah, they want that. The judgment card has to do with resurrection, bringing it back up from the dead. What was long lost. Um, the chariot, this way, that way, trying to make a decision how to do that. Um, trying to figure out what route to take to move this forward. Um, he's trying to try to think how he can, what tune he's going to play or she. So take it how it resonates for you. Answer that. Don't need the rest of the cards because the, the bottom of the deck just showed that real straight and clear. Let's look and see what they think about you. We have the moon. So they find you very mysterious. They may think that you um, are kind of secretive. You hide your true, um, like you may come off as this uh, pretty little kitty, but in, instead you're actually this... <laughs> We have the Three of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Page of Swords, the Empress, and the Emperor. Oh, okay. So you have the Empress and the Emperor. They may... They may think that your high-level soulmates are twin flames, and you may actually be... Um, how they may see you as um, someone that is a very significant life partner for them. However, they don't they don't know how they can get to you. That's kind of hidden to them. Um, I think maybe you might have actually went into hiding from this person, quite possibly. <laughs> I think they don't think they know you very well, and there's more they want to get to know. You tend to stay to yourself, so it's like they. I'm getting that they quite possibly may sense 
maybe you live in the same community, same area, but they like, it's like they never can run into you. You're very, um, huh, you stay to yourself. Like, you don't let too many people in. They're, and it's like, they're just, they're waiting for the right opportunity. I'm hearing the word pounce. <laughs> so they can, they can pounce. Um, that's funny. Um, it's weird because this is the third pile and every one of them, the person wanted to get back together with the viewer. Of course, number two, they, they wanted it. I think they, pile two was like, um, I think they wanted to have sex with them, um, but wasn't going to pursue it. But this one, I think they're actually waiting for the right time to pounce. They want, um, I think they're going to try and lure you in. They want to talk to you. They want to bring clarity, get some understanding, maybe get an understanding of why this didn't work, get some type of closure, but they also want to have sex with you. Um, I'm getting that real strong. Um, But they definitely, and they're making these plans. They have plans they're making. For some of you, you may be pregnant by this person, or you may be going to have children by this person, or this person wants to create new life with you. And if it's not a child, it may be this new beginning, this resurrection, if they want to birth. They want to take the lead. They want to take control. This is someone who's going to be very, very, um, I don't want to say dominant, but it's kind of a, you know, the emperor can sometimes be a very dominant person. You have she who nurtures Colette, empathy, gentleness, insight. They think that you are very nurturing, very motherly. Um, again, with the Empress, she definitely is motherly. She who knows Yelena, wisdom, clarity, resolution. So, they might see you as someone who's very highly intuitive. Someone, and also, what I'm getting, they just want some understanding. They want some clarity between you. They want some clarity. Maybe they want to bring you some understanding and some clarity. But most important, I think they are wanting some clarity. And, and of course, I, I'm feeling this aggressive energy as well. So maybe um, they're going to come off kind of aggressively. For some of you, that's not all of you. Like. Ah. Uh, Pleasure. Number 18, which breaks to number 9. Waning Gibeous Pleasure. Ooh, they want to give you some pleasure. They want to make you... They want to make you orgasm. <laughs> this may be someone who thinks sex solves all answers. When you get upset, then they seduce you. When you're upset, they're going to seduce you. If you need an answer to something, they're going to seduce you. <laughs> Might be the type of person who thinks that once you have sex, it just solved all the problems. <laughs> You're like, no, no, we need to talk. Bottom of the deck, we have, I need a love transfusion. So they really want to feel that love that you have. Your very loving, nurturing nature. They want to feel that. They want to be connected. Let's see. We have, my energy is being drained. So, again with the aggressiveness. Like, this person may have been really exhausting towards you, or they thought you was exhausting. <laughs> Emotional telepathy, I pick up on what you're feeling. I'm, I'm, I'm strongly sensing for a lot of you, this may be a connection that was very, um, 
how do you say that word masochistic? I, I can't say it really well. I think you know what I'm talking about. Um, and for others of you, maybe there's a little teeny bit of narcissism here. Um, I'm, I'm picking up like the empath and the narcissist. You know, narcissists turn into them energy vampires. And of course, you know, I did pick up the tension earlier. So quite possibly that's, you know, in their... I think, you know, there's a lot of things that... Um, maybe you cried a lot. Maybe they cried when you left. Or you cried when they left. It says, I want to know what you're thinking. Let me in. Yeah, they want some clarity. They want some understanding. They want to know what happened. I think some of you, maybe you may have disappeared on this person. We have everlasting passionate love yeah they they think everything's gonna get solved with sex and I don't like to be limited they're probably the type that want to tell you how to do everything but they don't want you to tell them shit I'm not no 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 <laughs> do they want you back I think this person wants to see you cry. And then they're going to fuck you. They're going to make you cry and then they're going to fuck you. I think they get off on it. If that doesn't fit your person, this is definitely not the pile for you. Do they want you back? Don't forget to check out in the description box. There's... Um, by your timestamp, there'll be a song there for additional messages. Okay. So. Okay, we have master. So, that's kind of what I was picking on. Is they want to be your master. But that's not what that, that's not what that card <laughs> is intended to mean. But yeah, that's what I'm picking up. Love abounds. Coming together, challenging times in reverse, simply love, and solar plexus chakra in reverse. Um, yes, yes, look at all these love cards. Yes, they want to come back with you. That is so weird, but um, the solar plexus chakra, um. I think maybe you both have low self-esteem, not just you, but your person as well. Quite possibly your person definitely has low self-esteem. That's maybe why they come off as being a little narcissistic, very controlling, is that's how they cope. Maybe just how they cope. Um, but they don't see that there's going to be any challenges involved in this. They're, they're making plans. You did have that um, emperor card here. And lots of times emperors are making active plans. So do they want you back? Yes, they most certainly do. And they are actively making plans to do so. And they're going to come in like a storm, a tornado, just ripping your world apart and trying to get your legs spread if you're a woman or whatever. Uh, take it how it resonates. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see the decks that I used in this reading, this video, please stay tuned. I'm fixing to give off all the details of the cards that I used. Thank you so much. Be blessed. Hi! So, thank you so much for sticking with me. I am now an Amazon influencer, so at the end of my videos, I like to tell you which decks I used in my video. Um, there is a link down in the description box to go to my link in the Amazon. In that link, it lists every single deck I own that can be purchased through Amazon. First, I want to show you the one deck that I did use that is not on Amazon. And this deck is the Twin Flame Hunger Vampire Edition. It was created by Fire Witch Tarot. This is one of my favorite decks. I love it. She has great artwork, great messages in here. Um, I do have a link down in the description box for her. Where you can get some of her decks. So, this one was created by Fire Witch Tarot. So now let me show you 
witch decks that you can get through Amazon. Pile number one was with the Tarot de la Newt. This is the back of the cards. Very beautiful um, purple color. And then it has great images in this as well. So that was with pile number one. Sides so they can be cleaned. Pile number two is with the Arcanum Tarot. These cards have a brown backing and these have great uh, artwork as well. So that is Pile two's Arcanum Tarot. Pile three was with the Everyday Witch Tarot. And that's these cards here. And this is the backing for these. Also use the El Hui Oracle, El Q Oracle. It's one of these backings. The Queen of the Moon Oracle. This is the back of the cards. deck I used was the Psychic Tarot for the Heart Oracle deck by John Holland. They have these beautiful <laughs> green backs. Okay. So, thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Bye-bye.